by default, GarageBand for Mac's track headers give you plenty of options to get going with. But did you know that you can have even more control over your recordings? In this quick tip, I'll show you how. Okay, so if we take a look at GarageBand's default track header controls, you have your track icon there, the mute button, the solo button, and the monitoring button alongside your volume and pan controls. You can add more controls to the track header. Right click anywhere on the track header and select configure track header from the menu that pops up. In this menu, I can add track lock, which bounces a track in place and frees up CPU power. Perfect if you've created some kind of monster project and are experiencing crashes, stutters, freezes, or the rise of the dreaded spinning beach ball of doom. The record enable button arms a track for recording. This is used if you plan to record multiple tracks at the same time. I can also activate the groove track. This allows you to match the timing of other tracks in your project to the timing of this track when their match groove track checkbox is selected. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>